Hello everybody, back here with 2K, and I was just been thinking about this, and I'm considering actually selling my copy of UFC, because for one, I don't really have any desire to play it right now. Last week I didn't even do anything with it, I just don't, it's just kind of a little bit boring after a while, and it's not really as exciting as like this. Even I enjoy playing Madden more than that. Yeah, Madden is just a straight game every time. It's just, I don't know. UFC, it seems like mostly I'm just like punching or kicking or that. And I'm just not having much desire to go back to the game. So I'm considering maybe I can get something out of it. Maybe I can save up for... Well, I, as you guys know, I played the WWE games... And they did, had a lot of interest, and I had fun with those. And this year, they got the NXT stuff, which I it would be similar to doing this, so I think I'm definitely getting WWE. That would be fun, but I'm considering maybe selling UFC. I can sh uh, shorten my workload a little bit here, because I have games right here. I got NBA. I'm doing, well, this. I'm trying to finish that up. But with 2K15, I'm going to be doing my GM mode. This time, I want to actually play it since i'm been pretty much playing nba 2k for a year now and i should be able to at least win a couple games um the car the ultimate team in 2k and my player so that's three modes in nba then i have mlb here which i'm doing franchise mode and road to the show that's two modes there and i'm, I'm considering maybe doing diamond dynasty and mlb so that's three modes, MLB, Madden, uh, I got Ultimate Team going on, and I got my player, and I got Franchise, so that's three modes in Madden, so that's nine modes I'm doing in between these three games. So I don't really have much time for UFC. And UFC is probably one of the least fun games out of the four games I mentioned. So, I'm considering maybe get my money back for UFC so I can save up for some other games. And then I'm kind of considering, based on what, last weekend with my kill zone, there's still an arrest in kill zone. I couldn't believe it. It's get, actually getting more attention than my 2K MLB and some Madden videos. It's like, what the heck? And I figured, I was thinking back. When I did Ghost Recon Online and Max Payne Online and all that other stuff. And then I thought, I actually do a little more successful if I when I do online stuff. So now I'm thinking I might uh, try to get into, like during the week, I might start doing some online gaming a little more than I am. Because, well, for one, I, ha I think I have a little more flavorable commentary. It doesn't make much sense, but it's random. But when I'm playing a sport game, I'm trying to focus a little more in that. So I'm considering maybe doing that now. Just dropping UFC and maybe pick, doing some online stuff during the week. And of course, I still got to try to figure out when to do T-Rock Goes Hardcore and Exploring the World Of. Which, since I don't have a job right now because... Well, for one, I had to transfer school from a branch campus to a main campus. I didn't get anything at the main campus. And I don't have much time anyways because I have to drive an hour and a half to the school. And my classes are, so, are well, I can't say they're difficult. The classes I have is organic chem, botany, genetics, and calculus. Calculus, yes. And music. So, between the drive and all those classes with the homework and stuff, and then me doing this for maybe like an hour at night, I don't have much time really for a part-time job right now. Which sucks, because I would like to have a little bit of spending money, but I don't have any spending money, so I have to deal with what I have here. Luckily enough, from my past part-time uh it was distant education, it was called. I did. I saved up a little bit of money for when I sell NBA 2K14, I can get 2K15. So I'll have that. But I have to skip games like 
on the top of my head, I can think of like Shadows of Mortar, Lord of the Rings, um, Evil Within, Assassin's Creed games, which I I actually do videos of, and let me see, I know there's other games too, but I want to make sure I get 2K15 WWE 2K15 for this definitely. I really want to do that, and well, whatever else comes. All right, that's kind of a little bit of things I've been thinking. But anyways, let's get this started. I want to get this finished up so I am ready for 2K15. It would be awesome if I can transfer this guy over to 2K15. So I talked for about six minutes. <laughs> I don't have to put that in the description. Maybe I can put that in the title for six minutes. T-Rock gives you some insight of what he's thinking. Oh, guys, I didn't. I don't know if you guys know this, too. I, I probably should uh, tell you guys my name, too. Uh, my name is Kyle. And, well, I, go, I try to go by T-Rock, but my name's Kyle, so if you guys want to refer to me as my first name, you guys can go ahead and what do that. We play our game and take what's ours, okay? Let's do this. Probably should have given you that, like, the first year I've been doing this, but, <laughs> oh well. Welcome everyone to the so who are we facing here? The Hawks? Alright, here we go. Right here, 2K Sports brings you Friday night NBA. All right, let's go, guys. Let's do this. Uh, and now a quick check of our starting lineups for both teams. No, I lost the ball, mother freaking. Oh, give me that ball back. Big fan of David Lee, fellas. I mean, you look at the way he's progressed in his career. Each season, he's found a way to made up for it. Yes. All right. Good stuff figure out ways to win each and every night. I think a lot of it just has to do with him feeling right at home with the ball on the block. If you double, you'll find the open man. Aw, man. That's freaking sucked. Alright. Take a look at the Hawks. They just haven't been able to buy a break lately. Five of their last six games have been losses. Well, Kevin, it's the last time they'll see these guys this year. Remember, they only won. Oh, yeah. Right in your face, boy. Lick my hook. To be very motivated here early on. Yeah. Yeah, you know, going winless against oh, wow. any team, you don't want that on your resume. No sir. So I think that in itself will be motivation enough to try to change things up. And here is Curry following the three pointer from Derek. Williams. Oh man. I wanted to pass David Lee. So he gets the whistle, contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Well, you know, you look at David nice. Lee. Now, if this game is going to be like the way it always is, he's going to miss. Yep. Always in motion, gets to the boards. Game seems to always wants to make it a tie game. <laughs> no! They changed my dude at the last minute. You know what? That's what you like to see a perfect pass leading him right into the shot. Curry kicks to Okay. Here we go. Get out of my way. The money. Iguodala against Horford. Just five to shoot. Here's Curry. Oh, nice shot, Stefan. There we go. Curry's got his first points of the night. And Clark, when you talk about the skill level, David Lee, not the biggest guy at six foot nine. I know you admire his game. And Steve, a great finisher at the same time with either hand. I think that's one of his greatest assets, Kevin, and his ability to score around the basket to, with either, Ooh, either hand. Ooh, kickball. Mother freaker. Almost had a nice steal there. Uh, at the elbows because he's such a good passer as well. Warriors on D. Schroeder off a pick from Horford. Shot clock at six. Here is Cunningham. He's covered by Thompson. 
Cunningham's shot is off. Good job, Andre Agadella. Look at the last game for the Golden State Warriors. It was a win against the Boston Celtics. It seemed like they hit every big shot they had in that game. Yeah. Kevin, their, their offense Trying to go to David Lee. Really clutch in big moments. That's ideally the way you want it to unfold on the road, Steve. Don't even give the fans a chance to get into the game. Now, here's Curry. Nice. Game against Boston. Maybe they're still working out the Kings defensively because that was a blatant mistake. Here's Schroeder. Right side, Williams. Yeah, there goes my phone. Now the pass to Schroeder. From past the arc, another three. Oh, wow. Atlanta. Good shot. You might not think of him as a laser three point shooter, but that shot was there for him and he had to take it. Here's Money. There we go. Beautiful assist. Boy, it was an impressive turnaround for Mark Jackson and the Warriors last season. I mean, his promise of making the playoffs didn't come together in the first season. The it's a Danny Schroeder. They got it done. And I tell you what, most thought Mark would be a really outstanding coach, and he's well on his way to making that a reality. Now, here's Curry after the miss from Cunningham. Thompson misses. Well, as far oh, as jump good shots, though, that's as high percentage as it gets. I'm not sure how that didn't go down. You know, they've scored several times already here in the first quarter down low. I, like yeah, I guess that, that is a little too, surprising. Success pounding the ball inside. You've got to continue to go to the well. Here's Schroeder. 11 points for him in that last game against Portland. And don't forget, guys, his playmaking was sensational. I and mean, he saw the floor making the game so easy for his teammates. The three. Warriors okay. with the rebound. And for Mark Jackson, there have been some questions. He had never spent time as a coach, even as an assistant. And he just finished signing an extension through the 2014-15 season. Uh, you know, I guess the question was, Steve, would he be able to take over the reins as a head coach? Well, the biggest thing oh, wow, he stuffed me. Have your players buy into what you're selling. And, and Mark Jackson's been able to do that. Nice. Uh, he motivates them. They like playing for him. And uh, that's most of the battle right there. Kevin, let's look at where the Hawks stand in the NBA rankings right now. Third and three-point shooting. Fourth. Still got a good lead. That's good. Oh, yeah. Curry with the steal. And up the court come the Warriors on the break. Iguodala's running on the court for a There we go. Good stuff. Jared Cunningham is out there with Schroeder. And it's Williams at the threesome. Now let's go to Doris Burke. Doris. Well, guys, money in the last outing against the Ah, you're pick and roll crap. It's not going to work. Yes. Ah. Go, 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 go. Oh, yeah. Nice. All right, Doris, thank you. It really was a stunning performance, Clark. He was at his absolute best in this game. Yeah, and the only thing about having a game like that, Kevin, is that it's almost impossible to do oh, wow. here tonight. Good well, shot. Nobody's expecting that, Clark, and they don't need him to do that. If he's even half as good as he was that night, it should be enough. Curry passes to Money. number two around three minutes gone by oh yeah well, they've done a great job of getting into the middle of that defense and working scoring. on them post moves definitely have helped my player getting really high percentage looks Williams for three Warriors with the rebound Good job, David Lee. Lee's got his third rebound on the night they beat the Hawks during their last encounter and it uh, get that Oh, 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 oh. Really, uh, how this team clicks. I mean, when they're communicating and executing, sharing the ball, they're tough. Yeah. And Steve, you got to love that kind of performance on the road. I mean, to be a great team in the NBA, you uh, have to be able to have that kind of performance. Go, go, go. And the other team's building. Really solid. Well, Iguodala moved on from the Celtics uh, to the Nuggets. Oh, man, that was good defense, I thought. The Warriors, it looks to be a really good fit. I mean, all that shooting oh. around. All right. Just with the way he can run and defend, should allow Iguodala to be the playmaker that, that really is. Oh man, this dude's a jerk. Here's money. Oh yeah. Well, now they're just going to town. Yeah, you think these defenders would have been a little 
more to put a stop to that stuff, Kevin, but so far, no go. Well, a phenomenal aerial assault there, fellas. Millsap a screen on Kirk. A step back shot here. Atlanta gets it back. That. Good, tough defense there. Getting a hand up, forcing that miss. Oh, yeah. Well, Come on, Clay Thompson. To a tough uh, slowed down. An a bit. Right there for you. Left side, Curry. Back to Thompson. Out of oh. Well, Steve, you mentioned how tough Iguodala is in transition. Great ball handler for his size and. Clark, I know you love his athleticism. Yeah, he's really a point forward offensively, but he can't. Oh, man. I thought he was going to freaking shoot. That was horrible. Bad by me. Ball handler and passer. His outside shooting is up and down, but I'd love to have him on my squad. And Curry, here we go. Here's money. Ah, oh, you jerk. One on nine left in the first half of basketball. Oh, 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 oh it's their ball. Nice. And a look at the top single season player efficiency ratings. I love this statistic. Wilt Chamberlain, Michael Jordan, LeBron James, and we've got some more modern talent representing as well. Yeah, you're talking the elites of the game when you go down. God dang it. There you go, 10. Gustavo. The rankings obviously make sense if those guys are at the top. Well, this Warriors ownership group has really energized the franchise. They've been very proactive. They purchased the D League team from Dakota and plans to move oh. to Santa Cruz about an hour south of Oakland. And, in and one. Oh, uh, yes, nice. The Hawks shooting their fifth free throw of the game here. And the Santa Cruz Warriors, as they've been renamed, have been a hit. You know, Clark. Oh, go, go, go. Nice. And you know, with all of the D League games now broadcast on YouTube, the exposure for players in the D League is better than ever. And for the Warriors to have their D League affiliate so close by gives them a much better opportunity to develop their young talent. Well, they've been better than good on the All right. The it's There's found. A discrepancy between these teams in that area. Around me. Uh, paved the way for them to build this big lead, no question. Here's Netovic. Feeds it to Iguodala. One second left. Ah! Uh. Clock runs out, and we're heading to halftime. Thanks, Kevin. I'm here with David. And now. All right. Well, that was a good first half. Don't think we're facing a very good team, though. Like former team, the Atlanta Hawks. Uh, view of the Ooh, they're missing me. <laughs> the Alright, here we go. Really an extraordinary game for money. He has 14 points and he's picked up one dime. Talk about on fire. Nearly everything's going in for him right now. Uh, he's got the magic touch right now, guys. While we've got a moment, let's set the floor. Brought to you by Gatorade all fueled up for the second half. And Golden State looking at who they Paul missed the this. Uh, David Lee, and it's Curry in at the point guard position. Well, Bill Sapp, a great signing with the Hawks. Two-year deal, 19 million. You like the skill level, a guy who battles inside, and even when he's at a size disadvantage. Yeah. He's just really possible. Oh, he's just dangling from the rim after sending it through there. You can see which team now has the swagger clock right now. Yeah, they, well, exactly. It's with them. Yeah, but you don't want to do too much to get an opponent riled up, though, either. Fades away. Oh, wow. Good shot. Millsap. Millsap's got four points in the quarter. And you look at the development for Paul Millsap. He's steadily improved as a passer, as a shooter at the line. His overall game is upward. He's even starting to shoot more threes these days. Right. Yeah, he's, he's undersized, but uh, just... Man, dang it. Trying to pass David Lay. What I like best about him is just his constant energy. Down to five on the shot clock. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two. Right uh, that's Adele. Does he fails? That's what he did for our team. To extend his contract, but it turned out to be win. That was a long time ago. There were a lot of concerns about Curry, but he turned into a superstar, particularly in the playoffs. And now the Warriors have him locked up for four years. Here's Schroeder. And so oh, nice pass, man. 
Here's a look at which players have been the most adept at finding and hitting high percentage shots since the All-Star break. Well, you look at money, leading the league in field goal percentage, he always gets good looks. And of course, Al Horford, a little bit down the ladder. Also, someone that shoots at such a high percentage, top five in the league. Now, yeah, both these guys nearly automatic during that span. They are shooting the ball with a ton of confidence. Doris Burke has an update for us. Oh, wow. Good shot. Yes, Kevin. I was able to listen in on what Mark Jackson was going over with his team. He told the huddle they need to go hard to the hoop whenever possible to either draw fouls or get high percentage looks right at the 10. He also wanted them to know that. Oh, oh. No stopping that. It means Stefan and the freaking. Why open the layup? Those could prove to be crucial changes to their strategy with this game getting ready to enter the stretch drive, Kevin. And thank you, Doris. From deep, Williams. Again, the miss by Williams. Nice. And the Curry contract part. I mean, I open four years, $44 million. Yeah, to us, it may be a little odd in terms of hearing those numbers combined with the word target. Yeah. Ah. Oh, yeah, put it back up. Ah, oh. this team. It's a good investment for Golden State. Here's Schroeder. Offensive rebound. Well, I think nice. He's alligator arm that one. Short stroke. It. After doing a nice job to get open, he didn't finish the shot. Yeah. yeah. That's good for money. Well, he's a really difficult cover because if he gets anywhere near the rim, he can finish. Great strength, the ability to convert in the lane. Boy, that's that's tough to defend. And applies even if he has to absorb contact getting to the rim. Schroeder kicks to Williams. Here's Cunningham. Oh, oh yes. Must got freaking stuffed him. Well, with the number of turnovers they had in that game, guys, it was going to be an uphill battle ah. all the way. Well, especially Steve, when you couple the turnovers with the soft defense they were playing. I mean, that's a bad combination. Turning it over and then not defending. Count it, and the Warrior lead has been cut to just 11 on the basket from Cunningham. Curry kicks to Iguodala. Here's Money, covered by Cunningham. Ah, you jerk! You jerk face. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Passes to Schroeder. Horford kicks to Cunningham. Cunningham off the pick from Horford. Here's Williams. Pass to oh, how do you get that rebound? He kicks it to Cunningham. And it's going to be a three second call. Ah, okay. Awesome. Let's now take a look at what is shaping up in the West. Taking a look at Oklahoma City. They've got their eye on the number one seed as the season moves into the final stretch. Currently first place in the standings. And guys showing no signs of letting up. Down four spots from them. You know, for the Warriors, they've just about finished the season and are sitting about in the middle of the playoff pack. And not sure how they feel about that at this point. And the question will be, can they break from the pack? And really yeah. Yeah. What you accomplish in the playoffs can really define a team season. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've had a number of empty ones a long time without a basket. They gotta find something, you're right. Spades off the pick from Scott. Spades dishes to Martin. The jump ah. from the free throw line is good. Martin's got seven. The entire defense was frozen foot. Nobody picked up the shooter, Kevin. Right wing. Here's Money, guarded by Spates. Ah. Here's Mac. We've got 108 left in the third. Scott, the pass to Mac. Hawks passing it around. Outside, Mark. He gets it. To oh, wow. That makes Good it shot. a single digit lead. Ten points for him. Defender there in the neighborhood, but not quite close enough. Good shot. Barnes kicks to Douglas. 
There's 42 seconds left to play in the third. Yeah. Lama Jamma. Well, now's the time to do it. Keep attacking that rim. Freaking put down the sledgehammer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> here's Matt, defended by Douglas. And here's Corver from the arc. Oh, wow, they're shooting good. That's two straight quick three pointers they've allowed. They better not make it three straight because now all of a sudden you're looking at a hot streak. Douglas kicks to Miles. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game. Money. And there's the basket on the shot. Money. That's right. I'm going to put some Benjamins and I hope. And that's not the kind of streak you want to have if you're playing defense. Mag dishes to space. Oh, yeah. Pass it to me. Oh, the cannon. The cannon was almost on target. It's been a fun game to watch. Warriors lead by nine. Almost hit enemy territory. Next Sunday, March 9th. It's my birthday. March 31st. Assist of the game. And the finish, guys, this is where you know you are right on the money with that pass. Look at that. Perfectly timed. Ugh. Fourth quarter on the court. Oh yeah. Come on, you want some? Ah, oh, Horford. Can't be reaching in on me like that, man. I'm not a freaking banana. And so here is uh, 13 points was the yeah. leading the game. Great team Boom. really helping each other out. Their plan is one. I mean, they're like a symphony. Everybody in harmony and in beat and in rhythm. Five straight baskets now have resulted because of assists. Cunningham gets Oh the wow. They're going back to the three-point shot over and over and over. That was the ninth straight point from behind the arc, Clark. It feels like they are finding the holes in this defense. Money passes to Nedovich. Here's Money. Pocket six. Up and in. Oh, yes. Money's got 26. Wow, such a steady hand. He's the one responsible for getting them this late lead. Can't argue with that at all, Steve. His shooting percentage has been off the charts. On the wing, Williams. Here's Cunningham. That one rolling around and rims out. Oh, Warriors yeah. By 10. Curry kicks to Iguodala. The pass to Money. Back to Iguodala. All right, in baby. Numbers certainly back that up. They're shooting a much better percentage. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. You know, all coaches hate defensively when you give up easy points in the paint. That that's inexcusable. So that, that's the reason for this timeout here. I think it came down to the fact they were getting beat inside, and that's why the coach called timeout. They were not winning the battle inside. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Yes, guys. Mike Budenholzer had some words for his team. Oh. He was not at all satisfied with the level, saying, we're losing the hustle plays and all the 50-50 balls. We simply can't win that way. We've got to get after it. Let's see how they respond, Kevin. Wide open. Oh, <laughs> almost made a long shot. Here's Williams. Oh. They get Andre Iguodala. Boy, he is a strong finisher on the fast break. Yeah, he sure is. He remains in total control, even at full speed. I love that about him. Clay Thompson, he's checked in for the Warriors. Warriors leading by eight. He feeds it to Curry. Ah. Oh. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Cunningham's shot is off. Well, one of his issues is he's a player that just does not excel in fighting through contact on his way to the rim. Thompson right side. Man, come on. I want to pass Dondre Aguadela. Williams against Thompson. Williams passes to Schroeder. Into Millsap. Lays it Dang it. Of room around him. 
Millsap's got four this quarter. You know, tired legs can affect you at the defensive end, and I think that's what's happening right here. I agree, because as much offense as we saw early, we're seeing even more of it here late. Lee with the ball. He's picked up by Millsap. Got a piece of it, and that's out of bounds. Golden State will retain possession. Millsap with the steal. Here is Cunningham. Passes to Schroeder. Into Millsap. Warriors with the rebound. Money's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. You know, they built their lead here by doing nice. all the little things well. And one of those things has been rebounding part because they have really come out and taken control of the doors. Millsap the screen on Curry. That's good, and the Warrior lead is cut down Dang. to six, and the bucket from Schroeder. Man, a gaping hole in the defense that time, and he didn't waste any time getting through it. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Over that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear what Mark Jackson said to his club. He went over the offensive plan and that it hinges on running through Curry. Coach directly asked him to take the reins and to start to make a bigger impact than he has been to the There we go. Thanks, Doris. Williams kicks to Schroeder. The feed to Millsap. And there's two points. Thanks. Working on the glass, paying off that time. And that is clutch shooting, making the most of his opportunities here in the fourth. Warriors leading by six. Thompson dishes to Kerr. Back to Thompson. Double by Cunningham. Jump ball. Thompson. And here are the Warriors now. Kicks it to Thompson. Six on the shot clock. And it nice shot. Go. And the Warriors lead by eight. Beautiful feed off the bounce to his teammate there. Nicely done. Schroeder passes to Cunningham. Millsap a screen on Thompson. Cunningham inside. Curry meets him. Here's Schroeder. He's covered by Thompson. It's blocked. Oh! -ho. 50 seconds left in the fourth. Inside. Here's Money. Makes it on. Oh, yeah. 10-point warrior lead. He's been one of their more reliable options today, guys. I mean, his shooting has led them to this lead. Schroeder kicks to Horford. Again, Tough assignment for that defender with the size mismatch we're seeing. Yeah, I, I just don't think he's big enough to, to handle it. Clark, they're this close to putting it away. Yeah, and they don't need to do anything to reinvent the wheel here. I mean, just take time off the clock. No! The orange, don't turn no! No! You can do to salvage this one at this point. Game over. Not anymore. Any chance they had is gone. The Warriors have gotten so many shots do, to fall do, here in the a tremendous offensive outputs. Fine. Outside. All right, this game's over. So we see the Warriors get the win here. Good game. These guys had the edge. Yeah, I think so. They were just steak knife sharp. Very on top of their game here. Well said. And now let's catch up with Doris Burke, who's standing by on the sideline. Of course. Yes, Kevin, thank you. I'm with Clay Thompson. Yep, that was a good standard game. Don't see anything wrong with that. Oh uh, yeah, I got a copyright claim for that one MLB video I just remembered. Remember that.
Alright, well, let's see how many games I got here. So, T Rock, MVP, people! Everyone's agreeing me! Yeah! Two dunks or more tonight. Okay, two dunks. That dude won. Now, let's. I want to see how many games. We are. 19 games left. Alright. We're catching up to the Spurs. Alright.